Are you serious? Lady Donna was the only one who summoned those Lady Donna was the one who summoned those falling stars. I don't know if it's true or not, but the ones who believe it are trying to capture her. You're telling people it's the witch who summoned those evil stars deserves no mercy. How could this happen? And how long is the royal family going to ignore this? You didn't hear? The wise and virtuous Queen Sarai has va vanished from the palace. Is it true? They say the entire royal family abandoned the country and ran away. We're on our own now. What the hell? The city is all but defenseless these days, and the sky is covered in dark clouds. Yeah, it keeps getting colder and colder, and it's getting harder to find food. How could this happen to the glorious kingdom of Eternia? Seems you weren't followed. Yes, that's a relief. I guess wandering around all those alleys as a kid really paid off. At this rate, I'm grateful for how you how understand you were back then. Ha ha ha, so what have you uncovered? I was contacted this morning by a colleague who finished translating the document. It took him a while, but he managed to locate Saren Garden. Saren Garden? We finally found it! Yes, the garden created by those who rebelled against the providence of the, providence of the gods. I never expected to find a clue by to stopping the Lacrimosa in the children's song. We must hope this this lead bears out. So where's the garden located? Exactly where you would expect. Uh, the only restricted area in the kingdom, the Valley of Kings. It seems the royal family passed down over their knowledge of Saren Garden over, over generations. Perhaps that's why the palace has always been under s such tight security. I knew it! As a member of the royal family herself, Sarai had to have known about this. Where is she gone, and why did she not say anything about this? I don't know. Either way, we must hurry to Saren Garden. The right, Saren Garden is to be located in the depths of the tomb. It could be near the mural. Nothing that existed. It's in Adel's era. This is ours. We don't know how much time we have left. Last time the guard stopped me, but I won't. this time I'll make it inside the tomb. Put him to sleep, Donna. You can do it. You should have an easier time entering now the royal family, ha royal family has lost their power. Still, there was a riot recently that destroyed the rust bridge leading out of the capital. The only other way to get to the Valley of Kings is through the mountain gate near the temple. Then I'll head to the temple at once. Yes, please be careful. Cool, cool, cool. Cannot go this way? I can't go this way. I believe they're going to have people stopping us along the way. So, if it is, you didn't know, this is the next episode. Um, <laughs> it's pretty chaotic. This is what they're showing. You kind of have to go out this way, and then around that way, and then go that way. So that means you gotta go this way. They're blaming Donna. That's the bottom line. They saw that the creature that selected the people to become part of the Lacrimosa was the one that they fought. I guess I'll wait for this. We found the maiden yet? No, she's not here. I thought she'd be here, though. Damn witch, I'll find her. I have no choice, I need to find another way. Back to what I was saying. They're blaming Donna, even though that it was a different creature, the one who selected the people to become a Warden of Evolution. And we learned a little bit more about that. About the Wardens of Evolution. And about what the mark means. The mark means... Yeah, lead to the central district action approach in this direction. Basically means that the Wardens of Evolution, there's some reason why Donna isn't by their side for some reason. But Adol now has the mark after he destroyed a very uh, destroyed the same creature. That's really what it, that's really what it boils down to. And Donna is now basically a fugitive because they're blaming Donna for this stuff because she's kind of they're blaming the main of the great chief for ruining the prosperity of Eternia, that kind of stuff. And then also another thing is that Queen Sarai has vanished, which means the royal family they don't really know about the what's the, what's the right word the power that they have anymore. So yeah, crazy, right? You're leaving too, aren't you? Somewhere far away. Criticize me all you want. I've committed terrible crimes. This is the, es the East Essence Tower has fallen, opening a path to the Central District. Should be able to enter from there. Basically, everybody's losing hope. That's what it's boiling down to. But we gotta go to Saren Garden. And Donna is determined to make it there. He just said I can't go that way. But... It looks like there's something over this way. Let's go to the Central District. Hmm. 
need to go south and head for the mountain gate. This way is south. This area is still intact. Oh. <sighs> Another vision. <sighs> this is no time for tears. I can't stop now. Hey, look! That's her, isn't it? It's the Maiden of the Great Tree! Stop her! Oh no! Where do you think you're going, your eminence? You running from your guilty conscience? Is that it? I remember I used to see you gallivanting around town without a care in the world. Playing with children, wandering around the market, you treated your position like a joke! That's why this calamity happened! That's right! You invited the star's wrath! You're no maiden to us, witch! Give me! Give me back my daughter! Give me back Mia, you murderer! Everyone, please! Just calm down! I... I didn't... So, you had nothing to do with this? Rastel? Then please tell me why this happened, Your Eminence. Why didn't you protect Eternia? Why didn't you protect your people? Rastel. They found my father's body near the crater where the falling star landed. Duran? I. I didn't know. <sighs> I don't have an answer for you, Rastel. But as your maiden, and as a friend to all who have fallen and to those who still live, I want to know why this happened more than anyone. I want to know why so many people had to die. I want to know how I can still save Eternia, still save my people. Your Eminence. All hope is not lost. I am Donna Eclusia, maiden of the Great Tree. Protector and leader of the people of Eternia. I never have and never will forsake my solemn duty. I will learn the truth of what happened here, no matter what. Now stand aside! <sighs> you really expect us to believe a word coming out of your mouth? Yeah! Get her! You are angry, but go, Your Eminence. Rastel! Hey! What are you doing? You're siding with her? She's the reason your father's dead! There are things I'll never be able to tell my father now. But I know with all my heart that he died upholding his sworn duty. So I will honor my father's memory by living my life as he lived his. I will keep my promise and protect the maiden at all costs. You, traitor, get him! We must hurry. I don't know how long I can hold them off. But... Don't worry about me. Just let me keep my promise to you. I promise. I will find out why this happened and come back. I know you will. You face Rastel, son of Chief Gardran! And I will not allow any of you to pass! The maiden's getting away! Out of the way, you! I heard the capital was in trouble, so I'm glad to see that you're safe, at least. Yes, I'm unharmed, but I must hurry to Saren Garden. Prepared to help, must report what's happening.
It was reported that the Great Tree was glowing with a golden light during the star's assault. At that time, we thought the light from the Great Tree was displaying a negative reaction to the falling stars. Now we know that the Earth's essence surged abnormally before the single star fell, and at the center of the essence surge was the Great Tree of Origins. Yes, it would be the Great Tree of Origins. Somehow caused the stars to fall to the Earth. Based on your description of the mural, you saw the Valley of Kings. It can only mean the Great Tree of Origins is the cause of the cataclysms. This scene depicted in the mural must be true. People are right to blame you for this disaster. Your Eminence, I can't believe it. How could this happen? The sole significance of the temple's existence is now lost forever. What are we to do now? Well... We'll learn the truth. We'll learn the faith. They will lose faith in the great tree and the kingdom will plummet into chaos. That's why. So I must stay the course and help people suffering from the cataclysm. Even so people may not as welcome as warmly as they would before. Your eminence. We have an arduous road ahead of us. And I have never been more proud of you. Huh? Your rambunctious nature vexed me to no end on many occasions. But if it was all leading to this moment, then all is forgiven. Or forgotten. One of the two. Hey, I, I suppose I chose wisely when nominated you to become the Maiden. We accept our fate. So we must save our people, your eminence. You and I are faithful, our duty never will. Going to Saren Garden. Yes, can I go now? I didn't even notice there's two of those models. I didn't even get to point out that that point steal yourself. The point that I put in, uh, I don't even care if Donna's talking, that steal yourself point? Because I haven't had like a chance to talk. That steal yourself was actually when um, when that one guy was talking. The steal yourself is the uh, one of the typos that I mentioned. Part of the bad localization with this, even though a different company handled the localization for this game. Which was kind of odd, really. Yeah, I'm not bothering with you, dude. <laughs> You're talking to Olga now? Jeez. But so back to the thing about the Wardens. The Wardens of Evolution. Um, basically, one the one who is the brightest of mind is the one that was chosen to become a Warden of Evolution. I'll do what I can. We get it, Olga. He's barely breathing. I don't really care. Oh, he's talking about Rastel. Okay, maybe I do care about Rastel. Rastel's badass. Love that dude. So what that means... What that means is that it was proven that Donna was the best of the Eternian era and the brightest of all of them, and that Adol was the way, um, Adol was the one for, ooh, not the capital. Adol was the one for the human era. Technically, humans and Eternians were both during different time periods, and it's kind of weird to think about that way, but <laughs> ain't that the truth. Yeah, that's kind of the main gist of most of the things, I guess. Um... There's no way I can get over there yet. That's a path, but not like an actual doorway. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. There's a lot of stuff to unpack from this Wardens of Evolution thing, but I'll wait to give a lot more of my thoughts to later. Okay, Donna, now you can talk. We'll get a couple more. Destroy some people because I do feel like I need to get some levels. I don't really need them, technically, but I would like to get them. Maybe I'll do some more levels off-screen or something, because I know I'm at 55, and I believe these enemies are a little higher than that. Yeah, 58. So I'm a little under level. It's not the worst. As long as I get my flash moves and flash guards, it isn't really an issue. Honestly. But yeah, it's a little cutscene-heavy because of a pretty dire event that happened. They're blaming Donna for the meteors, and we saw that it was actually that creature that brought about the meteors, and the Great Tree of Origins was actually behind was actually behind the whole bad stuff happening, I guess. <laughs> Not the best verbiage for it. But yeah, the Great Tree of Origins was behind the disaster that befell Eternia. Everybody turned into the whispers. So we know that the Great Tree of Origins ain't all that good. Oh, hey, there's somebody over here. Should we beat this guy? Ancient Saurians. Yeah, let's fight him. Trying to ease the suffering. Oh, Donna. Oh, you. Warm Lumber. Or Calcum. Dragon Crest Stone. Hello. Ooh, 66. Is it a tail the weak spot? It's 
No, it's just the fact that my blue, my blue form, my normal form is the one that does more damage. Come on, man. Let's see what you got. There it is. Come on, another one. Another one. Got him. Kill him. Get him. Got him. Get him with the extra move. There we are. Not a bad fight so far. I'll bring him down to, I think, a third health at least. Third health? Yeah, about a third health. Maybe a fourth. Ooh, I should probably get some healing. This guy actually is standing still a lot of situations, so he's not too hard to hit. I'll use an actual medicine. I can get more of them. The medicines are actually not too expensive. So I'm not worried about that. This guy honestly is not throwing in a lot of pretty crazy area of effect attacks. I mean, like, there's that, but I mean, pretty easy to get the flash guard off of it. Give me another one. There we are. I almost got me burned. I want to finish him off. Got the level right when I was burning, too. Good job, me. Nice little quest completed. Yes, we must still go to Saren Garden. Did we unlock the door? I think we unlocked the door. Hey, there's a door. That's an important door. Is that all you gotta say? You gotta do whatever you can, you must? Cool. Good stuff, man. Appreciate it, Donna. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I believe this is where Saren Garden is. Once I get a save point, then I can warp back. Yeah, there's gonna there's gotta be a save point coming up soon. I just feel it in my bones. I'm guessing it's gonna be right up here. Oh, this is actually important. Well, not like as important. Yes, yeah, supposed to be supplying water to the capital. We can fix it up. Piece of a falling star. What we can do is I believe we can plant a prayer sapling over here. Let's see if I'm right or let's see if I'm going crazy. Can I? Prayer sapling? All right, okay, I'll, then I'll just move it. All right, I don't, I don't need no stupid prayer sapling. I'll just move the star. No big deal. Oh, look at that. I fixed it. I fixed all the world's problems. Yes, yes, yes. We know Donna. So I did the attorney in quest, like, not really meaning to that much. I got another dragon crust stone. If you don't know, that's the upgrade from essence stones to be able to forge the weapons needed after that. So, it's important. Very, very important. And I believe we're gonna be able to release this disturbance here. Got great tree lumber. Ooh, that's actually really good. It's pretty rare. Ooh, okay, I see you. Getting ambushed. Yeah, there we go. Dude, the flash moves work so well in horde fights. I love it. This is actually the experience that I need, honestly. I'll get more essence fragments. They're actually almost dead. Why didn't I just go aggro and just finish them off? Come on, let me let me let me save this. Let me save this disturbance. You were right about to die. Just die at that point.
Is that enough to finish him? Hell yeah. Alright, cool. I think that's good enough. Yeah, I got some essence fragments, which should be good. Release the disturbance. Ah, thank you. Can't believe you rescued me. Donna and Clusi, I made another great tree. How do you know my name? Spirit of Covenants. Yeah. Must know the true purpose of Saren Garden. He doesn't know the answer. Oh, well, that's great. But he's got power to give me. How nice of him. Virtue increased. Spirit of Covenants. Luminous style's been enhanced. What is that? Uh, burn effect added. Oh, that's cool! I was gonna say, I don't think you get another one, but I'll take it. I... Not sure I understand. Do you pity me, Celine? Thank you, but you don't need to worry about me. People supporting me. Awesome! Appreciate it, dude. We did it. So my virtue did increase. But, we have... More stuff over here. Essence stones or dragon crest stones. I welcome both of those. Not strange masses. Them them things are weak. They're weak, I tells ya. This place is Beautiful. This must be Saren Garden. This place was a ruin in Adol's era. It was. This place looked ugly in Adol's era. Let's examine it then. This inscription. In every era exists Saren Garden, into which the collective psyche of species flow, providing here and nourishment to this tree. Stored within the collective psyche of species is the very will to live. The collective psyches of species across eras are amassed as such, producing power beyond the reckoning for the transcendent one. Thus, when the tree of psyches reaches maturity, disrupting providence and the natural order, the days of weeping shall come to an end. If this is Saren Garden, then that flow must be the psyche of the species. The tree looks really weak. If it grows, I'll have enough power, but at this rate... So you, came here so you came here after all. The Wardens of Evolution. Ah, uh, Saren Garden. I've not seen this place in ages. As you have come here, I can only surmise that you are not ready to join us yet. Have you been here before? Of course. I am the architect of this garden. What? Take notice. The water bridges represent each species of a given era. The wheat flow from that water bridge is the collective psyche of the Eternians. <laughs> Far stronger psyches are required to disrupt the providence of the Lacrimosa. Look upon the tree of psyches. See how young it is. The collective psyches of species past are not sufficient to spur its growth. Was it not made clear to you in your scarlet vision? You have no means by which to save your doomed species. You have shown remarkable fortitude in the face of this adversity. That is why I think you understand. The Lacrimosa cannot be stopped. But... this garden was my last hope. We shall take our leave of you, Donna. Should you change your mind, please seek an audience with us. We will not turn you away. After all, you are a fellow warden of evolution. No. It's 
not over yet. I'm sure he will feel the same as I do. The time will come for this place. I tried to call out to him one last time, hoping there could still be a chance, but it was no use. You. How long will you continue this folly? <laughs> the cataclysms have wiped out all Eternians. Even your best friend, Olga, is gone. Olga. She gathered the remaining people at the palace and tried to lead them until the end. It was heroic of her. I see. Far be it from me to ask you this, but why not allow yourself to feel a measure of peace? Why are you still doing this? Because... Because there are still people I can save. Who do you mean? The Eternians are no more. Not them. Adol and his allies were defying the Lacrimosa in the distant future. And the Wardens of Evolution enthralled by its curse. I can still save them both. Please, let me help you, Sarai. So you noticed? Yes. It's a foolish notion to think that we could ever be freed from this curse. Do you even understand what you're saying? I see the way you wardens look at me. I think I remind you all of the people you used to be. Oh. You wouldn't. Why? Ah. 
that was. Hmm, that was more intense than I expected. Yes, it was. I can't believe what you've endured. Are you okay? I'm fine, Adel. I remember everything now. I've been waiting for Adel. Waiting for the next species, so I can bring hope to everyone. Donna. That explains why you're not with the other wardens. Jeez, my brain feels close to Burton. How could you seal yourself up like that? Haha, <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to do at the moment. But we know what to do now. We must go to Saren Garden. That's right! It might be the only- it's the only way to stop the Lacrimosa. Yeah, that's our best bet. It remains sealed away by the royal family, even as its maiden it took a lot of effort for me to learn of its existence. By gathering the collective psyches of their species, the very will to live, the garden cultivates the power by, by which the providence of nature can be defied. Ha ha ha, I don't know what that means, but it sounds really cool! Yes, built by the Wardens, Valley of Kings, yes. Isn't that one Warden we met there, your friend, Donna? You're talking about Sarai, I was surprised by that too. Why is one of the Wardens a former Queen of Eternia? There's probably more to that than we know at the moment. Adam, we must hurry to Saren Garden. Valley of Kings, we know where it is! And now we're back to being able to warp anywhere! Except right next to the Great Tree. Pretty self-explanatory there. Thank you all for joining me. I do want to leave you guys on that. It's very story heavy. I was very quiet for a lot of it because of the fact that there's a lot of interpret uh, interpreting that you can do for yourself. And personally, I really like the fact that it left it, it, left it in that vein. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that because we got a lot of the story figured out that Sarai was actually alive. Sarai, so most of the time you're supposed to have, I guess I'll do a little bit of explaining in case you guys um, weren't here for some of it. The Warden of Evolution, after they find one, um, after they're selected, they're supposed to find the next one. And that cycle did perpetuate with Donna finding Adol, even though it wasn't explicitly stated in that vein. It was kind of Donna's point and they were, wor and they were worried that the Lacrimosa wasn't going to happen because of that. So overall, Donna did fulfill her duty as being a Warden of Evolution, but she's still trying to defy it. And that's one of the things that's kind of cool about this game. Okay, I'm gonna start on it. And she's the only one that actually had the ability to talk to people and uh, talk to other species too, which means that technically Eternians are not the same species, and what that also means is technically Queen Sarai is not the same species of Eternian. There's a lot to unpack. I'm gonna let you guys Meditate on that, and hopefully I'll explain. I'll, I mean, I will be explaining more of it in the future. But there's a lot that we just got dropped on in terms of the evolution, the Lacrimosa, who the Wardens are, and how Donna's defying it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>